Good morning, everybody. Black Stank 610 back again with another episode of Mossy Pine Ranch. Diving in bright and early this morning. We are in a very, very cold December. Uh, about 7, uh, about 7, 7.30. Um, we're going to go out. We got a lot to do. Oh, mm, Tony's here already? I know John said he had some errands to run. He's not, not around. cold Tony you in here yeah over here oh hey 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 you're here early yeah I was just doing a little bit of maintenance on the John Deere here it's uh found a found belt that needed to be replaced and hours are pretty close for the for the old change so I decided to go ahead and do that I oh, appreciate it yeah not a problem yeah, I noticed so. it was, uh, you know, last time I used it, it was running a little, little bit rough, but yeah. it's about that time. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have all the so parts. I, we have the belt up, up in the rafters up there. Yeah. Yeah. I found a belt and keep oil on hand, keep filters on hand. So we're cool. good. Okay. So, well, yeah, I'll finish this up. And... All right. Yeah, I was actually about to go fire up the uh, the Chevy. I'm gonna go take a load of silage up. Um, okay. I don't know. I mean, if you finish this before I get back, if you want to hop in the white over there with the plow and start turning over uh, some of the fields out front here for the yeah, lime, you know, get the lime down in. Um, that's basically gonna be my game plan today. Is just turning fields. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, uh, where's John? Yeah, I don't know. He, he said he had some errands to run. Um, something came up. I, I, I don't know if he had to run north or if he's just running around town. Uh, he just kind of left, you know, a little hectic. So yeah, his, his truck was gone when I got in here. So I don't, I didn't know. Yeah. He just basically hollered up that he was leaving. I was getting ready. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. You know. All right. Yeah, it must have been something he had to had to handle early. Knowing him, he'll come home with something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll get this finished up. All right. Cool. All right. Appreciate you. No problem. All right. Let's go see if this thing starts. That boost. All right, let's see. There it goes. Warming up. Yeah, so the plan is we're going to basically offload uh, some of the silage here, take it up. It's it's just about at peak price. Um, we'll see what they give us at market. And then from there, you know, that'll determine if I wait a couple more weeks or we just start offloading, you know, obviously minus what we're going to save for the cows and minus what we're going to give to to Tony for uh, his portion. Um, but yeah, you know, we should have a pretty, pretty pennies worth of silage in here. In fact, let's see. Yeah. 223,211 liters. We still have 162,000 liters of grass in there. So that'll be nice for sure. Uh, yeah, let me double check here because kind of looks I might have a little bit of a uh, lime in the back of this thing still Let me go Take this down here and just double check make sure
Oh, I gotta come out here and spray the wheat, the wheat down. Those weeds are coming in big time. Had a little bit left in there. We are filling. Oh, it stinks. That's some ripe silage, man. Still going. that way all right looks like he's getting ready to start turning those fields over just look and double check uh what the prices are see where i'm taking this hang tight guys i'll be right back all right so i checked on my phone uh and it's actually uh bruce's place that is offering the best price right now so we're gonna go take this down there to him and uh see what we can get for one load and then you know we'll decide from there if we're going to uh offload everything or if we're gonna wait a little bit So we had uh tony's friend uh he was telling me about the guy that does the liming he came in uh end of last week and actually limed the rest of the fields for us it was so much less expensive the guy uh charged me basically 3200 bucks uh to do everything that was left so every field that we hadn't touched he limed took him eight truckloads at four hundred dollars a truckload and uh he got it all done i was really really happy and really impressed i'll be using him probably going forward if we're being real uh he's you know it's kind of hard to beat the price on especially when he does it himself and um lays down the line for you so I'm really, really happy we were able to make that connection. All right. I don't think Bruce is around, but let's see.
Well, I just got off the phone with Bruce and uh, unfortunately we were actually beat to the punch. Uh, his stuff actually got fulfilled and he doesn't need any more. So uh, we're going to go actually up and check the other location uh, and see if we can't sell it off there. We might have to wait a couple weeks. Woo. Guy needs to learn how to use his brakes. All right, made about five grand roughly. It's not terrible. I bet you we can make a little more still. Might be a little bit of a gamble, but you know, worst case scenario, we just hold on to it and feed it to the cows that we're eventually gonna have. Use it for TMR. Five grand truckloads, not bad though. Yeah. I'll think on it. We're gonna head back, help Tony get those uh, fields turned over. And yeah, we'll go from there. See you guys back at the farm. All right, looks like he's hammering down on that field. Get in here, we'll get a tractor warmed up. If that John Deere's ready, let me pop up in it and ask him. Hey Tony, you got a copy? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, is this uh this 4440 ready to go or do you still need to do some work on it? No, you're good to go. Alright, cool. Already warmed it up let the blood flow through it so it should be good to go for you sounds good i'm gonna fire her up and uh i'm gonna hook onto the plow i'll, I'll get out there and help you All right, sounds good yep let's go open the door yeah we'll do this one i'm right here Guys, if you haven't, make sure you hit that like, smack that subscribe, leave comments down below. We love reading the comments, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video as much as I am, uh, and and you know enjoying the series. But uh, let's let's go get hooked up to the cultivator and start turning these fields over.
All right, making good progress. Almost lunchtime. Tony's over there hammering out that field. Still uh, haven't seen John. He must be really getting into something. Normally when that happens, he ends up coming home with something. That's all I know. But it, the trailer's still there. So whatever it is, it's not big. <laughs> Unless he's driving it back. I, I don't know. You never know with John. But we'll see. He might just, like I said, had errands to do. But uh, we're, we're getting these fields turned over. I got to grab the sprayer at some point and go spray the weeds down on the wheat field. That'll basically be one pass. That'll be a quick little, you know, 10 minute job. Not even. I was talking to John the other day. He was saying that that, uh, that auction up in Pennsylvania is coming up. Uh, I got to reach out to Bud. He wants to bring John wants to bring a, a tractor trailer with us. He uh, he's seen a lot of stuff. I guess it's an old dairy farm that they're auctioning off. And there's a lot of stuff that could be useful to, you know, the dairy that we're opening. Um, he's he basically said, you know, ask Bud if we could get his tractor trailer. And we're going to basically convoy up there and see what we come back with. You know, you never know, uh, but it'll, it'll be nice to finally see him in his, uh, natural habitat, <laughs> the art of the auction. So I'm excited for that. That's a couple, couple weeks basically. And then the architect. Uh, we, we decided on one of the plans and the architect is currently looking for, uh, approval from the city for the ordinances and whatnot. Uh, he said it shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue, but we just got to get some, uh, some permits handled and then, you know, I can get a, a crew in here to get the ground ready. And he said, basically the building will go up by late spring. It'll be up and, and ready to go. Um, if not sooner, if the weather cooperates, so that's really exciting. Uh, really, really looking forward to getting the cows on the farm and, and, you know, utilizing that land that we opened up from the trees and, and just taking the farm into the next generation, uh, the new era, if you will. Right. Looks like we got maybe two passes, maybe three. I'll go over and help Tony. Just one little sliver left. over here I have to clean up corner a little shallow
All right. Let's go give him a hand. This side. guys i think we're going to uh i'm gonna save some battery hop off the uh the recording here and we'll pick you guys back up when i decide to probably grab some lunch and uh see if we're gonna do another field or not all right see you in a bit all right had some lunch we're gonna dive in get this field going Tony's going to take the outside. I'm going to take the inside. Oh, 
He really came up here. That's crazy. John Deere's got a few more ponies in this. Yeah, I'm, I'm catching you, but it's uh, it's keeping up. I mean, you're you're doing fine. That thing's also probably thirty years older too. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's got some age to it. I can't believe it's already starting to get dark. I know it well. It is yeah, the season. Short, yeah, shortest day of the year is coming out pretty soon. Yep. A couple more weeks. I think we're gonna run out of daylight before we run out of fields yeah i think we'll probably end up calling it after this one pick it up tomorrow morning when there's more daylight I'm gonna actually grab a uh I'm gonna grab a photo for the farm's Instagram. Come on All up right. to me a little more. There you go, right there.
Grab one more. Cool. I've been trying to keep the Instagram up to date a little bit. Update people on progress. Yeah, that's what I did back home. I really haven't done that since we moved out here. Might be a good idea. Yeah, you should try it. It's, it's a nice engagement. You know what I mean? I, it, people like seeing the photos of the equipment, you know, knowing where their, their crops come from. You know, I did one down uh, at Antonio's one day delivering strawberries. Like that was super popular. They like to know that their, their, you know, their produce and stuff is taken care of. Oh, yeah. Did you hear Tom's uh, talking about retiring the end of next month? Uh, well, I knew he was thinking about it, but no, I actually I haven't spoken with him in a little bit. Yeah, I guess he uh, I was up there talking to him last week. I guess after Christmas, he's going to put the uh, the tractor supply up for sale. Well, he wants to focus on his horses. Be interesting to see who buys it and you know what they do yeah, with it no. yeah and, it's it's gonna be different i've gotten used to dealing with tom so uh, yeah we we'll have to get used to dealing with somebody else yeah i mean he's always done me done me well for the most part um huh. you know minus four hundred dollar pallets of <laughs> <laughs> lime but you know, that's, that's just, you know, he, he has to sell them at the price that he has to sell them at. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have that harvester if it wasn't for him. <laughs> he, he gave you a heck of a deal on that thing, man. We'll take them back up, wash them off, park them up for the night. Okay. Still no John. Huh. 
Uh, let's see if I can sneak in here. I guess on that note, I'll open that up. Oh, it's the... <laughs> we'll tear the door off the hinges over yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I forgot to close it earlier. I should have just been patient and got the uh the big door opened uh, back this right up in here right there you're good spraying this down I think you're good. what your grandfather had to go through <laughs> plowing these fields with a two or three bottom plow maybe no. four at the biggest i i couldn't imagine i mean that's i have enough i have enough nightmares using the ones we have <laughs> let alone a you know a four four bottom i would go I mean, nuts we... it taken me i mean i remember coming down in the summer um you know and, and helping him hay and stuff and that old equipment was so beat up but he just you know he kept kept at it oh yeah that's the way my grandfather was i mean <laughs> back over there where the the uh, toolboxes and benches are it would be lined with nothing but coffee cans of different bolts oh and yeah washers <laughs> and you know they saved everything because they just never knew ah, there was know, a use for it somewhere yeah I yeah I, cleaning out the house you know when we first moved in here and just kind of going through his things and you know packing up and kind of making it our own the amount of just i don't want to say junk because it wasn't junk but the amount of stuff that was not needed to be saved that my grandfather had saved is just like wh why like you don't yeah. need the ho the shoes with the holes in them anymore grandpa like you can throw <laughs> those out 
Well, I mean, but I would say you're, I, they your came from that generation. Probably, yeah, I mean, the Great Depression. Yep, they, they came from that generation and they saved everything. Yeah. You know, I, I so. get it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost a, a, uh, forgotten era, if you would. Oh, yeah. You know, anymore yeah. with every, you know, it's, it's such a throwaway, uh, society anymore. Yep. It's just, yep. you know, order a new one. Yep. I know it. Exactly. Exactly. So. Uh, oh, man. Well, it's getting dark out already. I know. So. Yeah. I think, uh, gonna order some, some Antonio's for dinner. Call John, see where the heck he is. <laughs> Hopefully make he's sure, okay. I was saying, make sure he's all right. Uh, he, like I yeah. said, I, he may, he may have went north. He may have ran up to PA. I don't actually know. Um, I just know he yelled up to me this morning and said, Hey, I'm heading out. You know, I was like, all right. I didn't think anything. I thought he was just running some errands. Yeah. He'd been gone well, all he, day. He might have ran to PA. Who knows? But, um, yeah appreciate you doing the maintenance stuff um oh yeah did you make any more i know i i had looked at the the international over there did you make any more progress on it it looks like you know it's ready to go back together yeah it's uh well if what what is your plan with it what are, what are you thinking about doing with it are you thinking about selling it or are you going to just put it on the i mean do you think it's auger. yeah I, if you don't think it's going to handle field work i'm probably going to send it to auction next month i think at this point in time we're starting to have the issues of the braking uh it might be best to go ahead and try to upgrade okay that's just my that's my personal thoughts yeah i get you so, I, I, I was, was planning on looking anyway. If this was something that your grandfather had. I don't know. You know, I don't want to. No, that's one that John came home with. Oh, okay. All right. So there's no <laughs> sentimental tie there. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. All righty. I mean, I like it. It's, it's one of my favorites, but, um, you know, like I said to you a couple weeks ago, it's money. If it's turning into a money pit, I have no problem sending it you know to to greener pastures <laughs> yeah i mean it's uh it well <laughs> you can look at it two different ways it's it's like well we're putting new parts on it so it may last longer but then again what what else is i mean the engine probably needs to be gone through you yeah. know uh, you know if you he bought it at auction you have no idea what what was done to it before right and that so, was the thing like it already had some wear and tear on it that's why he got such a good deal on it right um so i mean we've gotten three seasons out of it now three full ro you know full fledged rotations like for what he paid i'm you know if we can get a little bit of money back to go towards something more modern or you know even like a, a trade plus some money on our end i would entertain it you know yeah. i would offer them the the attachment uh unless we can find an international or a case that matches um but yeah realistically it would i would probably offer up the attachment and the the bucket and whatnot yeah and just you know get it get it up and running and we'll take it up there with us when we go up to PA and see what we get for it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try to get that put back together after okay. we get done with tillage work. Yeah. I took, uh, I took the silage up there. Bruce actually didn't need any, I was late to the, to the punch there. Uh, but Tom's guys, uh, bought it and it was about five grand for the truckload. Um, still a little light, honestly, for, for 15,000 liters. I'm going to yeah. wait. I think I'm going to wait a couple weeks and get rid of the rest. 
or at least you know the portion that i'm going to get rid of saving your portion and then saving what i'm going to save for the cows yeah 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 matter of fact i could probably take a load you know uh here very soon yeah i mean so. let me know we'll just i'll load it up and bring it up to you and or you know you could even just take the truck for the night if you come down and, you know just leave your truck here and take the truck for the night and bring it back in the morning whatever whatever okay. works for you yeah yeah all right that'll work well i think antonio's is calling my name yeah i gotta go call my order in i think i'm just gonna grab <laughs> takeout tonight yeah i don't blame you so all righty all righty that was fun yeah appreciate the help as no always problem. and uh we'll hit it you know first thing in the morning finish those fields up and go from there hopefully john's back <laughs> yeah hopefully I, i'm hoping he's all right so. hey i'm gonna I'll, I'll shoot him a text and see okay all right i'll well, let you we'll know see you in the morning then. all right all right later guys that's gonna wrap up this episode of mossy pine ranch thank you all so much for tuning in appreciate it as always if you haven't make sure you hit that like button smack that subscribe button they both help the channel tremendously and uh leave comments down below let me know what you think of the series uh have you have you watched the whole thing you know where do you think we're going with it uh i will have an announcement next week uh and i will have a a post on that coming later um this week if not early next week uh just kind of giving you guys some updates uh and then yeah we'll we'll see you guys on the next one as always if you haven't make sure you drop some uh some love and some support right there for fallen uh he plays tony mac he has his tony mac series he is over on youtube at fallen oak farm ky and then uh fighter who could not make it to tonight unfortunately uh he is on twitch twitch.tv slash fghtr3803 and uh make sure you follow me on social media i'm on instagram tiktok you know uh right here on youtube obviously and on twitch at blackstang610 and we'll see you all on the next one right here on mossy pine ranch later